hello guys today we'll discuss on these topics these are very important questions those uh, who want to learn system verilog first system verilog beginners okay first what are the difference between verilog and system verilog okay verilog is the uh, mainly introduced for hardware modeling at gateway design automation okay uh, so Verilog is used for both the design and verification purpose at the starting stage. Okay, but later on the design complexity were increasing rapidly. Okay, the architectures or uh, uh, highly uh, complex architectures are needed to meet the specifications of speed for high speed and low power consumption. Okay, whenever the design complexity are increasing, the Verilog standards has primarily met for only RTL constructs. Okay, at that time it cannot uh, give efficient uh, uh, result for the verification of high level architectures. At that time the system Verilog has introduced for verification purpose okay uh, so it can deal uh, the complex uh, for complex designs uh, where verilog did not have the support for several features uh, which are needed for verification so system verilog can uh, sub, uh, can support with very high level features like in in terms of memory okay uh, it ha it ha it got high level memory utilization that means it has a two stage uh, uh, few data types okay instead of four four states and like that uh, the system verilog is mostly popular in uh, five areas mainly it is a superset of verilog language it is mainly popular with the five areas one is system verilog for very design System Verilog design means it is it, this includes the several enhancements to the design constructs and system Verilog for verification and test benches. So this is one of the biggest set of enhancement that system Verilog supports all test bench modeling that needs for uh, Verilog methodologies. And system Verilog is also used for assertion, assertion based verification. So SPA. And system verilog is used for direct programming interface. That mean uh, that mean uh, it, it includes features for better uh, C or C++ language integration. And it is used for system verilog application programming interface. So these are the various areas system verilog can be used. So these are main uh, differences with system verilog and verilog and coming to the what are the advantages of system verilog over verilog so system verilog is used for mainly high level complex designs uh, which uh, which has the uh, great features like uh, oops concepts and coverage concepts assertions randomization and all and it uh, compared to the Verilog, Verilog has the limited data type uh, like reg and wire. But in system Verilog, we have a lot of data types like, like logic, int, long int, uh, bit, byte, like that. Okay, and similarly in Verilog, we have only one type of array. But in system Verilog, we have packed arrays, unpacked arrays, and uh, uh, like associative arrays, dynamic arrays, these are this gives the advantage of system verilog programming, and it also has the better features, which gives a, a high level verification for very complex processors, very complex SOCs. It meets the complexity. And why system verilog used for verification rather than verilog means because of its better features. It has some of the features like OOPS. OOPS is the object-oriented programming. It supports the object-oriented programming where entire test bench can be connected through classes. And code can be reusable by using interface and polymorphism like that.
and next advantage is assertions assertion is one of the uh, advantage in uh, debugging process and makes complex simulation debug easy and assertions are used to validate whether it is working correctly or not another advantage is coverage this is the one feature in system verilog it is used to measure the tested and tested and untested portions of the design there is a code coverage and functional coverage so code coverage measures how much of design is exercised how much design code that mean uh, uh, in terms of uh, flip flops in terms of uh, number of blocks number of loops like that so the simulator tool automatically extract the code coverage from the design code and in coverage there is a functional coverage that mean design specifications has been exercised in verification or not okay if we get 100% coverage then only uh, we can we can tell that okay our specification has met 100% correct okay if our functional coverage or code coverage doesn't met 100% coverage there is something uh, uh, something missing in our code something missing in our functionality so we have to uh, check we have to uh, take 100% coverage in every program in every uh, code and next one is randomization randomization concept also there in the uh, also there in the very log but it is not much efficient okay but in a system where log by using uh, uh, by using different type of uh, uh, functions and all we will perform the randomization using constraints okay constraints means uh, in some situations it is required to control the values getting assigned on the randomization so uh, when we want to assign only the required values that mean we should have the controllability on the randomization suppose if you want to generate only between 100 to 200 then we can write the constraint suppose if you want to generate uh, the multiples of 3 uh, from maximum to minimum range then we can use the constraint so that we can have the controllability on the randomization which is the best feature in a system verilog okay so this can be used by writing the constraints there will be a constraint blocks okay these are the main features of the system verilog why uh, this is why we will use system verilog for verification and uh, this is very simple and gives the flexibility that means it all it all it has all type of constructs like not only these concepts uh, there are so many uh, advanced concepts like interface in verilog if you want to connect with a dot and a test bench we have to take every signal and variable and have to connect individually with a test bench and a design but in system verilog there will be a bundle like an environment environment through the environment we will connect every uh, signal or variable through the test bench and a design which is a very advanced uh, concept and very simple so uh, by by using all these uh, features uh, uh, it makes the powerful to use for making the test bench components and it also supports the features of verilog oops c++ c language and all so this is what the information uh, about these three questions. Uh, so if you have any doubts, you can comment below. Thank you.